Coming to you from my channel, That Girl China, with another Dollar Tree haul. The lighting is kind of off today. I think I might have overdone it. Um, so I will be doing some adjusting here shortly. Just a moment. Let me see if I can get this lighting right. Hopefully, this is a little bit better. I have been fighting with the lighting for a while. It's kind of overcast outside. And so I added additional lighting, and that just makes it look kind of blurry. But hopefully, everything will come out okay once the filming is done, or I'll try some editing on the other end of this. But I've got some really cool items to share with you today. Um, cool food finds, delicious, inexpensive, obviously a dollar, because these are coming from the Dollar Tree. And um, some hair accessories, some brand name makeup, toys and some stationery. So I'm super excited to show you this stuff. And some of these items are gonna be going into future beauty giveaways. Um, I believe I'm gonna be doing a the yellow themed Happy Sunshine giveaway. I'm super excited about that one. And among some other ones, which I will tell you in the future. All right, so let's get started. First things first, let's start with the food so I can get this stuff put away. I found these ice pops, as are noted here, Cherry Limeade, Sonic, a name brand. So the box is kind of heavy and you're getting eight of them. So of course it's summer. What is more perfect than a popsicle um, on a hot summer day for your kids? Not just for your kids, but for yourself as well. If you're a fan of the Cherry Limeade drinks from Sonic, you can now get them in the form of a popsicle at the Dollar Tree. Um, they're not, what are we getting? three servings per container. So it's saying three pops at 140 calories. You know, usually a person will consume one pop. Um, let's go ahead and take these out of the package because I am gonna be giving these to my sons. They love the cherry limeades. Yes, they're in their um, early 20s, but I don't think you're ever too old to have a popsicle. So this is what the popsicle looks like. And you know, just a standard popsicle and apparently it has a cherry limeade flavor. So look in your freezer section, guys. This is an area that I've always kind of sort of overlooked because I felt like maybe the products wouldn't be up to par, but I was very, very mistaken. I've come across phenomenal finds. They're like hidden gems because you're getting name brands and on top of that, they taste good and they're only a dollar. So I've, um, I picked up quite a few, you know, snack items, you know, frozen food items, ice cream, and so far so good. I haven't hit something I don't like. Um, so let's talk about another item, which are these Tyson name brand spicy chicken nuggets. I don't think that they come in the non-froze, I mean the non-spicy, um, but I like the spicy. So if you have kiddos at home or, you know, yourself, you like chicken nuggets, this is a very easy thing for them to prepare for themselves. Um, you know, it's something that they can prepare in the microwave, it says, or in the oven if you have older kids. And you're getting, I believe it's like six chicken nuggets in there. So this is something they can easily prepare. They can make themselves some mashed potatoes. You can have barbecue sauce as a dip, ranch, um, honey mustard. And these items can be picked up at the Dollar Tree, the sauces, um, or maybe they like ketchup. All of these different dips can be picked up at the Dollar Tree. And they sell even sell the little cups, the disposable little cups, or cups that are reusable where you can put those dips in and your kids can, you know, um, if they come in from playing outside, they can easily prepare their own lunch. Um, I like to put these in, a, in um, bread. Um, so I'll put them in a, you know, two slices of bread, put a little mayonnaise and pickles on it, and it makes for a really good sandwich. Um, but you can also dip them, of course, which is what they're made for. And on top of that, also Tyson, the any tizers chicken fries and again i believe it comes with like seven six or seven chicken fries in here um, it's a perfect snack and same thing you've got the different dips that you can get at the dollar tree you know ranch um, barbecue sauce um ketchup all those different dips that you know you can experiment with and try these and your kids would love them especially if they're fans of like chicken fries and chicken nuggets so easy to prepare you can just toss them in the microwave i prefer them to be a little bit crunchy so i put them in the oven 
um, but kids could easily make them. Okay, so speaking about kids and snacks, they also sell, which I have shown these before, is a three pack of Teddy Grahams. So, you know, we have kids home for the summer, you know, maybe you don't wanna make elaborate meals for lunch and you save the elaborate meals for dinner. This is something e kids can easily put together. Um, they can have, you know, Teddy Grahams as a snack and you're getting three packs for a dollar and they come in the honey variety. Again, another name brand. Now they do have, um like a teddy graham like snack it is a dollar tree brand i believe um i haven't heard good reviews about it so i've not tried it um i do like teddy grams i've had them before and you know again if you're watching your way you're doing calorie counter you're restricting yourself on you know like portion control these are good to eat because they're you know they're individually packaged they're not a lot of calories and they hit that sweet tooth if you crave a sweet okay and then on top of that i found some um, salad dressing by the name brand Wishbone. So here's Wishbone Chunky Blue Chunky Blue Cheese Dressing. Here we are getting um, eight fluid ounces. So this is a perfect for like a family of four. And again, you can use these as dips if you're doing like chicken wings or for salad if you're making salads at home. So here's ranch again, perfect for dips. And again, eight fluid ounces Wishbone. And these guys do not expire until november 2021 so we've got plenty of time to use these um, i plan on using them for dip um, for my little chicken strips and also for those uh, potato sticks that i showed in my previous video very delicious if you haven't tried them i do recommend them another item that i found at the dollar tree are these sunday peanuts make something better with sunday peanuts roasted and salted and here's what that package looks like. So it's saying that um, these are made for really great toppers for ice cream desserts. Um, and you are getting here in this situation, uh, four ounces of peanuts. Um, it's best by June 30th, 2020. I like eating peanuts as a snack, you know, just grabbing a handful of peanuts as a snack. And these are perfect for that. So they don't have to be used as a topping. You can use them in other recipes or you can just eat them as a snack. And so I picked these up, really good deal. Um, or if you wanna make Sundays at home, you have this option. So be on the lookout for this item here. Okay, so now let's move on to um, the makeup section, hair accessories and the like. So I found this, what is a hard candy. It says Fox in a box. And I really love this really pretty girl right out here on the package. Um, and it says girl next door it's marbleized bake blush so that's what this package is this is going to be included in a future giveaway and again it is a name brand hard candy look at these awesome name brand products that you can get at the dollar tree it does come with an applicator i don't know if it's showing up over here because the lighting is kind of off today um, but again a name brand girl next door is the name of the color it says that it smells like strawberry scratch and sniff so the product's supposed to smell like strawberry so not only is it beautiful yeah and it does have a strawberry smell but it's scented hopefully this is showing up i don't know if you can see the strawberry or read the wording but i will most definitely include this in a very uh future giveaway that's going to be very soon so be on the lookout for that announcement um, I should be announcing it here in the next video or two because right now I'm building the little um, gift sets that I want to give out. And I want to make sure they're well stocked so you guys get some really awesome prizes. Okay, I also picked up this really pretty brush and this is by the, um, it's by the Dollar Tree. So it's, it's an in-store brand here and I just loved how pretty it is. It's metallic um, and you can see that they have the little, the little uh, balls at the end. And I just loved how pretty and reflective this metallic hot pink, this fuchsia color that this brush comes in. It also has a little hole here so you can always hang it. Like if you organize inside your cabinets and you got little hooks, you can hang it there. Um, I, pl I plan on including this also in a giveaway. Um, again, I'm building that setup. It also came in blue and I wanna say black with this metallic feature, but I picked up the hot pink. I thought that would be the most popular. And so this will be included in that future giveaway so again stay tuned because those will be coming up very soon okay another item that i found i think this qualifies as beauty um by the juncture line and as we know uh before you know it fall will be here and i like this because it has a beautiful quote 
with perfectly chosen font that says grateful. So it's in the color blue and the lettering is in like kind of an off white color. And it just has the word grateful all the way through with some polka dots. So you can see the little polka dots here. And I thought this would be a really beautiful scarf. Um, I plan on donating this to MD Anderson. So uh, for the patients, you know, um, that are experiencing hair loss, but these would look really great as a belt. And also, you know, as a scarf, you can tie it up all different kind of ways. You can also accentuate your purses, your handbags and totes with these really pretty scarves. Or there's enough fabric here where you may be able to do crafts with them. For those of you that like to use fabric uh, for crafting, the print again is really pretty. The font is perfect. And at only a dollar, a really good deal. This would also make a perfect throw in for a gift. So be on the lookout for this. And again, before you know it, fall will be here. And I think this would make for a really perfect gift um, or to accessorize your outfit. Okay, so let me put the video on pause real quick. I'm gonna put the frozen foods away um, and I'll be right back. All right, so we're still in the uh, beauty section. I picked up these really pretty hair accessories. They're scrunchies with little um, ribbon extended from the scrunchies. I thought these were really pretty. Um, they're so perfect for haul, for fall. The color scheme is gorgeous. Now this is distributed by Royal Deluxe Accessories, so it's not a Dollar Tree brand, but it is something that you can uh, pick up on the regular. Like these, this brand, Fashion Accessories, I see this pro their products um, almost always in the Dollar Tree. So I found these really pretty. So here we have like some yellow roses. They have like an orange, yellow kind of color to them i thought this was really nice black background and perfect for the fall time these are going to be included in a giveaway i also found them in this color um, where you have like a maroon again with the rose pattern and so you have the little scrunchie and it's so perfect to add you know if you have a bun that you place you know you're wearing your hair in a bun in a pretty braid um in a ponytail it just gives it that extra touch of femininity you know i just you know accentuates and brings your look up another level also found this one which is in that tan color like a light beige color and uh, or like a taupe these are really soft by the way and again with the rose pattern i think these are so pretty perfect for fall and you know fall will be here before you know it um and i'm gonna include these in a future giveaway so again stay tuned for that if you are interested in these beautiful hair accessories now if um you are can't wait till that giveaway comes around you can certainly um head out to your dollar trees and i hope that you're able to find them um i've seen them at several so it doesn't seem hard i've also seen other youtubers haul them so hopefully they'll be at your stores as well okay so now let's jump to stuff for the kiddos i found this really pretty bathtub it's a little toy accessory and it says here doll bath playset um it does come in a variety of colors i almost picked it up in the other color which was kind of like a mint color there may be three colors don't quote me on that but i know that they have like a mint colored tub in lieu of the pink um and you can see the little faucet detail and um there's a little spray nozzle and there's a little like some little hook here not a hook what would i call this like where you can hang the nozzle from it comes with a little soap bar and a little rubber ducky i think this is adorable if you want to see the size here's my hand um to give you an idea of what the sizing is super cute perfect little stocking stuffer really cute you know just to have a little toy to pull out if you donate to like toys for tots um, and not, you know, not expensive, but a very cute little toy. And there's that little spray nozzle. Um, I just thought it was adorable and I had to pick it up. And again, it comes in a variety of colors and you know, children would love to play with little items like this. Okay, so I went ahead and picked it up. I should have picked it up in the green one because it was so cute. Okay, another item that I found, if you have a kid that's like the artist that loves to draw, they love to paint, look no further than the Dollar Tree. I found an artist palette of paint and you've get a large variety. It's called a paint set. It does include the brush, but keep in mind they do have additional brushes. If you wanna buy, you know, like a fan brush or other varieties of brushes, um, Dollar Tree does carry them and you can find them in the crafters square section. So here you have, look at all these colors. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So you're getting 12 colors. 
um, which of course you can blend to create more colors. And these are watercolor paints and they come on this adorable little palette. I thought this was super cute. You can make an awesome gift set. Um, you know, just purchasing all different craft items um, and, and wrap it up in that shrink wrap and have a beautiful gift set to give out to someone of any age. You know, someone that likes to draw, likes to paint. Um, you know, you can include markers and um, color pencils, crayons, different types of paints, brushes, and they even have the specialty paper for these projects. And on, on top of that, um, you can get acrylic paint in a variety of colors and canvases at only a dollar. I think this would make a really fun gift. Um, so bear that in mind for the artist um, that is in your life. You know, just something to think about for you know future birthday present or for Christmas. Okay, another item that I found were these um, color your own poster sets. So here is what they look like, and they have what looks like a felt. Is that felt? No. I'm sorry, yeah, they are felt, some of them are. Some of them are like, or velvet, or what do they call that, velvet? So they come with a variety of posters. It says that there are um, three glitter posters, five velvet posters, six mini posters, and four markers. Now, if you need more markers, of course, you can get these at the Dollar Tree and they do have a name brand. And now is the time to get them because they have all their back to school stuff out. So you're getting a large, ver larger variety than what they would normally carry. This um, little set or these little sets come in a larger variety than what I'm going to present today. I did pick up four different types, which I'll show two other ones in a future video. But this one is a Tonka and this is perfect to keep your kids entertained. Um, also makes a great addition to a, you know, if you're buying a gift bag for a birthday party, you want to throw that in there um, with maybe some little cars from the Dollar Tree. Um, they also have like model um, construction vehicles. So if you want to do like a little theme, you could throw this in here, maybe a coloring book with it, some crowns and a couple little cars and boom, you got yourself a gift. Um, another item that I picked up was um, this color your own poster set, but in a Disney theme. And you have the different Disney princesses, um, including the Little Mermaid, Ariel. You have Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast. So Beauty's here, Jasmine, can't remember, Rapunzel, is that Rapunzel? So you've got a variety of um, princesses um, and it includes the markers and same thing. You get three glitter posters, five velvet posters, six mini posters and four markers. You can also color these with crayons and or matte pencils or paint. So there's a lot of stuff that you can do with these and look at the variety that you're getting. Isn't that nice? It's so pretty. And again, to keep your kids busy and for only a dollar, y'all, you can keep them busy, um, you know, out of your hair for a little while. Maybe you need to work at home um, or maybe you're doing some cleaning and you kind of want to, you know, keep them occupied so you can get those tasks done. Um, what better way than to give them a little uh, poster coloring set and, you know, Keep them busy for a little bit and only a dollar a dollar also would make really great giveaways if you're doing a birthday party that ties into those themes so everyone can walk away with their own little color your own poster sets at only a dollar i think they would make for great gifts okay so another item that i found this is tying into kids but now we're moving into um like kind of the stationary section 300 stickers for a dollar from the brand Jot. And these are in kind of like a makeup purse, very uh, cute little dress up kind of theme. Check these suckers out. You're getting 300 stickers. And here we have like um, nail polish. There's um, little high heels, compacts um, with powder. Uh, what is this right here? This is perfume, so it comes with perfume, purses, lipstick, butterflies, glasses. I think these are so adorable and there are 300 of them and you know the kids like stickers. Same thing, you can always throw them in, add them as part of a little gift set. They sell these little purses there that are, I think they're like plastic and kids can carry them around and it, they come with little um, makeup accessories inside. This would partner really perfectly with that. Throw in a coloring book, some crayons, um, maybe a dollar or two and you got yourself a very inexpensive gift for either Christmas, you know, maybe you want a stocking stuffers and or birthday parties or just cause, you know, you don't always need a reason to give gifts out. I think these are so pretty 
And these are gonna make for a really fun gift for the girls. Okay, now, um, you know, stationery, and I always pick up journals, notebooks. I'm like obsessed with these items. I cannot help myself. So speaking of that, right now they have a huge collection of notebooks and journals at the Dollar Tree. If you like me or a fan, and you love to collect these, give these out. Um, you have kiddos at home, teenagers at home, tweens. Now is the time to go. So this is by the brand Jot, which is an in-store brand for Dollar Tree. It says, just keep rolling or rolling. Just keep rolling, right? Um, do y'all remember going to the skating rink uh, when y'all were younger? Or is this something you still do? Or do you take your kids? We used to go all the time on like Saturdays um, in the evenings when I was a kid. And we had the best time. And they always paid like the coolest music and it was all lit up and I could actually skate at that time. I've lost my ability to skate. Although I did go ice skating last year because we like to go ice skating um, during the um, winter season. Um, we always go to what is known as the Galleria Mall. It's in the Galleria in Houston. So if you've ever been to Houston, it's um, you know really nice mall um, located in the Galleria area and they have like an ice skating rink, a large one um that is open you know almost every day out of the year but we go in the winter time um because it is across town but anywho yeah i did okay but my sons are like you would think they were like olympic ice skaters or something because they the first time i took them they never had ice skated before and i hadn't been since i was like a kid and i was like you know what i want them to have the same experiences that i had and we had all this fun at the ice skating rink so i'm gonna take them so i bought them their own little outfits and they had little beanies and they had scarves and they look so adorable and i take them and i'm like we're gonna stay together we're gonna cling on the wall until we get comfortable um and that way until we you know start getting the hang what is it called like to get the hang of it so to speak well they got on the ice and they like took off you would think that they had been doing it their entire lives this was their first time they had never been before and they literally hit the ice and took off and they left me there clinging to like the wall i looked so pathetic the kids were out skating me i was hanging around like little toddlers because they were like you know kind of like at my level although there were some that could out skate me by a long shot and it took me probably the entire time that we were there to even get the hang of it um i didn't fall i didn't fall i had a near miss um but anywho it was it was quite the thing. It's funny how I knew how to do it and how I couldn't do it. I think it's the fear. You know, when you become an adult, you become, or in some cases, some people become fearful. Like when you're younger, you'll get on the roller coasters and, and you'll go ice skating. You're not afraid of falling. But when you become an adult, when you fall, you like seriously injure yourself. When you're a kid, you fall, you may scrape, you know, scrape your knee or something. But when you're an adult, it's like you, you can't walk, you walk crooked for like three weeks because you fell at the ice skating rink. Anywho, back on subject, back to the notebook. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. 60 pages, y'all. It says features 120 blank pages inside. So these are not lined. So you can doodle in them, you can write, you can do whatever you want. You can put stickers in here. This would make a really cute sticker book. That's what I would do with it. Um, or I would give it to one of my, well, not my kids, because they're boys, and I don't think they would like this kind of stuff, but, um, you know, if you have little girls in your life, maybe like a niece or something, your granddaughter, your daughters, I think this would make a perfect sticker collecting book. Okay, also found this one. This one is Line Pages, also by that same brand in that same collection. It says ideas, goals, and achievements. And it says that there's 120 line pages here. So here they are. They're, um, what does it look like? Wide ruled line? No, it's college ruled. Here are the pages here really pretty and i love this elastic here that keeps it closed i think this is so pretty love the variety of colors and the striping also found it in this variety it says heck yes what was that i don't know something just popped heck yes again 120 pages you have this leopard print really pretty leopard print in this aqua kind of color these teal hues and this hot pink this is very 80s to me this looks 80s, all day long 80s. Um, and being that I was a kid in the 80s, I totally dig this. And again, these pages are blank. So this one comes with blank pages. It notes it right here in the front. So if you're wanting some with not blank pages or blank pages, you can um, decipher that right here with this sticker. 
Um, again, I think this will make a perfect little book for stickers or for whatever you want to do with it. Also found this one. This one is a journal. Look how pretty this is. And this one also has that elastic to keep it closed. And in this situation, the pages are lined. So um, what's well, like polka dot lines. I don't know if that's showing up. Because the lighting is so off today. And this is the word journal in this beautiful metallic gold font. Look how pretty that is. Perfect gifts to throw in um, into a stocking, um, to put together for a friend, to give to your kiddos for a birthday gift. You can put them into a little set and kids would be all over this. Tweens, teens, younger children, adults. Who doesn't, who doesn't like little pretty journals? Okay, another item that I found, because you guys know that I donate and I always try to look for stuff that's um, unisex or you know masculine too because I tend to pick up more girl stuff because that's what they offer. So anytime I see something that I feel boys would like, I'm all over it. So here we have a composition notebook. Um, the pages are wide rolled and it has this beautiful design of planets, kind of like a galaxy look and a variety of different planets. And I thought this was really pretty. And so I went ahead and picked it up. It includes the little stars in the background. I don't know if you can see them. They are stars. And so I'm going to donate this to MD Anderson because I want to make sure I get it even between boy stuff and girl stuff or unisex stuff. Um, and in addition to that, I found this very pretty polka dot notebook. So this one says it's 70 pages. Um, the pages are lined wide rolled. And so if you're picking up supplies for around your house and you need stuff to write you know, think, jot things down and jot. So perfect how they named it. These notebooks are so pretty. Or back to school, if you do care packages, you can send these to men and women serving overseas, inclusive of these other books, inclusive of the journals. Um, you can send these to your college students now for where they can take notes down, um, you know, for school. Um, or use them to study with. Um, this is so perfect and they're so pretty. They would make a great addition to a care package. Okay, so the final items that I'm gonna show you are these little napkins. So it says on here, welcome baby. I'm hoping that it'll show up. I'm gonna try to get it to show up to the best of my ability because I know the lighting is off guys. I so apologize. It's got this beautiful floral print here and this swan with a little crown. And again, welcome baby. This is by um, Amscan, which seems to be a brand from what I understand from Party City. So I don't know if there's gonna be more to this napkin, like maybe plates or some kind of collection party accessories from um, Party City that's gonna hit the Dollar Tree because I thought this was really pretty and I found it in the um, what is it called? The uh, party section for babies, a baby shower section. That's where this was picked up. So I'm hoping other items will show up that tie to this theme, but I really liked the pretty napkins, wanted to show them to you. Hopefully some more items will trickle in that you can tie them in together with this beautiful swan theme and how pretty the soft pink is. So in this case, you're getting 16 two-ply napkins. And again, they are by Amscan. Um, last items that I'm going to show are going to be these little prayer boxes. So they're like metal little boxes. So kind of like the Altoids ones and about that size. And this one says, give it to God, beautiful floral print. And inside you have a, um, a biblical verse right here. It comes with this gorgeous little paper that matches the floral print and design of the exterior and a little pencil to write, um, you know, like a little mechanical pencil to write the prayers with. So this would make a great gift if you participate in, you know, Bible study, if you have like Sunday school for the teenagers, um, if you're in a women's group and you wanna have something to give your parishioners, I think this would be such a darling little gift to give to everyone. Um, and you could even write a prayer for them, you know, to get them started. I think it's so adorable. Or maybe you have a friend that, you know, is battling an illness or going through a tough time. You want to lift their spirits. You want to put a beautiful little gift set together. What better way than to go to the Dollar Tree, pick up these beautiful items, the journals that marry so beautifully with these little um, prayer boxes because of the color schemes. And you could build the most 
adorable gift set. Again, give it to God. And this one has um, a different little pattern. It's very vibrant. And again, same thing. You have a biblical verse in here. And you have this really pretty little stationary paper and the mechanical pencil. They had a huge variety of different little boxes. These are just the two that I picked up. I am going to include these in a giveaway. I'm going to include these in a giveaway. I bought um, several more, but those are going to be donated to MD Anderson for the patients. Um, but I so appreciate you guys joining me today in today's haul. Um, keep in mind, I'm going to be doing some more giveaways. Thank you for taking time to visit with me. Um, I hope you enjoyed the items that I showed. Um, would love to hear um, your comments on, you know, what was your favorite item. Also would like to know what your favorite song is. Because all day for like the past, um, I don't know, like week, I have this song playing in my head over and over and over again. It is my favorite song. I cannot get it out of my head. And I'm going to include the link below so y'all can hear it. I would love to hear what your favorite song is. So comment down below what your favorite song is of all time. Can you narrow it down to one song? I did have another song um, for like a decade at least. And this new song knocked it off the top you know, my, as my favorite. So I'm going to include a link of what song, um, was my favorite and for like a decade or more and what song knocked it off the top. I'll include those link down below in case you're interested. Maybe you're not, I don't know. Um, the song that's my favorite right now is in Mandarin Chinese. Um, I do not speak Mandarin Chinese, but I heard it, um, on a, um, a show that I was watching that's completely in Mandarin, but it does have English subtitles. It was such a good drama. It was like a docudrama. Was it docudrama? It was like a drama slash documentary, like a series, a mini series um, that was completely in Mandarin. I loved it. Loved the music. It turned me on to um, to Chinese music or music that is sung in Chinese. Um, even though I can't understand what they're saying, I just love it. I don't know. It's it's funny how music like surpasses, you know, their language varies and all that. You can hear a song and just be, not even understand what they're saying, but somehow the song speaks to you. So um, would love to hear what your favorite song is. Um, please comment down below. I'd love to hear those. Love to read your guys' comments. Thank you again for joining me. Y'all have a wonderful evening. Bye, guys.